How's it going everybody? My name is Nick and I am your coach of the Philadelphia Pincers and we are coming back with week three of the New Frontier Champions Draft League. Unfortunately, my opponent last week for week two, Billy, and his Indianapolis Iron Malls had a forfeit due to misplacing their switch or having their switch misplaced. So we got the forfeit win on that. I think that puts us up into like second place, second or third place, somewhere around there for the actual rankings. Um, you can see here for week three, we are taking on Coach Sean and his Lumina Crashers. Sean is a good buddy of mine and he is hosting this draft league. Unfortunately, his switch um, kind of met its fate with the floor and now it's cracked to pieces. So he's while he's getting that replaced, he said that we can play our match this week over on showdown so that's what we are going to do it's not as great of content it's not like the normal back and forth i hopefully i've got my system set up to where it can actually record it perfectly fine right now you can see also that we the pincers have made two transactions since week one we dropped um gudra and poltegeist to pick up dragapult you know that's a favorite of mine if you've been around for the channel as well as Golduck, Dragapult was dropped by another coach, and I said it. I told him uh, prior, like prior to the season actually starting after the draft, I was like, "If you drop it, give me a heads up because I want it and I'll make it work." So he did. Stu gave me that heads up, and I made it work. Got Dragapult on my team at the cost of Gudra and Poltegeist, which I mean, they they both had their uh, strengths, and it made my team a little bit frailer and a little bit weaker on the special side, but. I got a mon that I'm used to playing with, and then I'm have become accustomed. And now it's like I think it's the fastest mon in the format outside of Electrode, so that's pretty awesome as well. And I think it just goes to balance out this team even well, more more well for what I'm used to playing against. And then Golduck, it was just another pick. I needed something, and Golduck picking up Golduck didn't really harm my team. So that's what I went with, and then I thought that even maybe a surprise Swift Swim set or even a Cloud Nine could do well because we have two weather team, two or three weather teams that we could potentially go up against. So you can see my opponent's team on the far, I guess that's the right hand side of the screen. Sean is packing uh, Fluttermane, which is his Terra Captain. It can either be Ghost or Fighting type. He has Quaquaval, Roaring Moon, Corviknight, Screamtail. Arbolova, Ampharos, and then a whole bunch of NFEs outside of, uh, oh, watch, Sandaconda, and Glamet, Crocolore, Bergmite, and Tarantula, Tarant, Tarantula, I don't know how to pronounce that one, but they all, they all serve a role. I don't really expect the NFEs, or not fully evolved, for those of you who do not know, to come to this matchup. The six that I'm really anticipating are going to be the Fluttermane, the Roaring Moon, Ro uh, Roaring Moon, Corviknight, Screamtail, Arbalava, and either Ampharos or Sandaconda. I don't expect Quaquaval to come, even though because I have two Mons on my team that are dedicated to pretty much beating it. So I think that's where that will come up. Um, Rotom Wash pretty much hard walls any Quaquaval that he wants to bring, and. Toxicroak can eat up those water hits so it stops him from aqua stepping and just sweeping with the game. So yeah, those are the six that I anticipate him to bring. Uh, if Glamette comes, it's just a probably a hazard setter. Uh, Crocolore, I don't think that'll come at all. Bergmite, I definitely don't think will come. Tarantula comes if he wants to set up webs, but I think we are good in that department as far as getting rid of them and just using our mons to our advantage i guess so let me get this match up off the screen and pull up my team we are going to be rocking with let me pull up the team come on where are we gonna go here yeah all right so first up we've got frankie um I, the iron treads leftovers with Heavy Slam, Rapid Spin, Body Press, Stealth Rock. No offense investment this week. Uh, it's purely bulk. And we have enough speed. Oh, let me throw those matchups back up again right quick. We have enough speed to outspeed a 
max speed sandaconda, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> and then the rest is get max defense. HP is a leftovers number, so it's divisible by 16. And then spadef for the rest of it. Next up, we have our dedicated Quaquaval check, should he decide to bring it. And this is going to be Jinbei, the Rotom Wash, with leftovers, of course. Max HP, max defense, a little bit in special attack. Hydro Pump and Volt Switch pretty much hit his team pretty well. His main switch into this would probably be Sandaconda, and we can just hit that thing with a Hydro Pump if we need to. We also have Will-O-Wisp because he has a lot of physical attackers uh, like Roaring Moon, Quaquaval, Sandaconda, <coughs> and potentially Screamtail, I guess. Will-O-Wisp is just for that residual chip, and then Protect gets us some leftovers uh, recovery back. Next we have Shirahoshi, the Gold Duck, making her debut. Again, another leftover set. Uh, 204 in HP, again, it's a leftovers number. And then we have Grass Knot, Nasty Plot, Soak, and Taunt. Taunt is for Screamtail. We don't really want it to go Wish Protect, Wish Protect, or set up too many screens if we can avoid it. Uh, it's also for Tarantula, so if Tarantula comes, then we just lead Gold Duck off rip and hit Taunt. And then we can just start soaking thing, or maybe set up an assy plot, hit soak on something that wants to come in, and then we just start grass knotting things. I'm hoping to catch Corviknight off guard with this set. That'd be pretty nice. The taunt's also there for it. Speed is for a max speed adamant Sandaconda, just to make sure that we can outspeed it. And then, yeah, the rest is just a little bit in spadef so that we can live those uh, flutter main hits a little bit better, and then pretty bulky in HP. Next up, we have the Chien Pao Aokiji. This is a Life Orb set this week. Uh, max speed jolly, or not max speed, we are jolly nature speed to outspeed a jolly roaring moon, if I remember correctly, with max attack. Uh, Crunch, Ice Shard, Terra Blast, because we are Terra Electric this week. And Sword Stance. Once I get up to Sword Stance, it's really hard for him to stop this set. Especially if I'm Terra Electric, so that's what the goal is. We have Luffy the Dragapult making his debut spell tag with Shadow Ball, Dragon Darts, Flamethrower, and Dragon Dance. The Dragon Dance is there to make sure I can outspeed a Choice Scarf Flutter Main should I need to. And boost up the Dragon Darts hitting. Spell tag Shadow Ball just to get that little extra oomph onto pretty much everything, and then flamethrower for coverage. And then last but certainly not least is Magellan making his debut, the Toxicroak. <laughs> we are running Dry Skin Salic Berry this week. Um, it's Endure Reversal, so may hopefully I can get off an Endure and then next turn hit that Reversal button, maybe hopefully, in front of a Roaring Moon maybe, we'll see. And get that Salic Berry procced and then just hit that thing for super hard damage. It's it's a fun set. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm definitely going to try to make it work if I can. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Once I get connected here with Sean, I'm going to get this battle on the way, and we'll see you then, guys. All right, we are connected here with Sean. Oh, okay. This is not the team I expected. Um, okay. Quackaval definitely didn't expect to come. I don't think I had a great matchup, but we'll see what he does. <sighs> Fluttermane looks like it could be Scarf. Screamtail is going to be here for probably Wish Support. I'm really hoping it's not some kind of setup stored power set. That sucks so much. Corviknight's going to be a pain. Crocolore's there for bulk, I guess, and maybe to spread some Will-O-Wisp. And then Arbalava. Okay. So I don't think I need a lead Shirahoshi. I don't know who I want to lead either. Frankie looks like a good lead. We have to remember that Quackleball does have access to... Let me say good luck. And have fun. Okay. Let's see. I guess... We can lead. Yeah, we'll just lead Frankie right. 
right off rip. Yeah. And he leads <laughs> the scream tail. Okay. That's perfectly okay with us. I imagine that he will want to set up a reflect or just hard switch out. So I am going to I think I just I'm going to get a stealth rocks. Yeah, Corviknight comes out. I'll probably defog here, which is perfectly all right. And he has no ground type. So just uh, volt switching with Rotom's gonna be nice. Body press, okay. Now we can taunt here to prevent any shenanigans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, not gonna happen, brother. And it's nasty plot up here. So gold duck in front of this thing, which is probably max defense if I had a guess. And if I can turn it into a water type, we are doing absolutely nothing to it. So I think I can just taunt here. And I'm just gonna go right back out in the iron treads. and hit the heavy slam button. So dazzling gleam to my iron treads was doing about 11 or about 12%. Okay, so you are like invested. That's crazy. Okay, so our ball of us in And what did we what did we just click? Heavy slam did about thirty two, so it's defensive Arbalova. And I think probably goes for strength step if I had to guess. Um, I will just hit. I guess another. I don't want to lose this. Let's hit. We're gonna hit another heavy slam here just to get it lower. Yeah, okay. I was also scouting for that. So we're at minus one attack, which surprisingly didn't get back, did it get, did not get it back up to full. Body press here. 46% is the earth earth powers now so we've seen earth power strength step I don't want to take another one I'm gonna try to I mean, do I care if I lose this right now? No, I'm gonna body press. Strength up, yep. So that earth power did a lot, okay.
I cannot lose Jinbei, so I need to stop trying to hover over it and go into it. Body press here. Oh, crit mattered. Okay. So a little bit about Sean and I's history is that he has beaten me several times. I think I've beaten him once in my career. He's beaten me several times, and a lot of them have been in playoff matches where crits have definitely been the decider of the match and just taken me completely out of it. Okay, so he brings in Fluttermane. And a choice specs, Shadow Ball, definitely kills. Mystical Fire kills. So I think, but if he's not choice specs, right? If he is, let's say, choice scarf. Mystical Fire kills, Shadow Ball does not. I'm just going to go out into Shirahoshi here. And as he goes into fighting type and Terror Blast. Okay. And I th think we are cool to Oh, that did 48.9 to this guy. Nope. 48.9. Let's see. Terra Blast. Fighting. Okay, so you could be scarfed. Do I take that risk? Probably not. I'm just gonna go for a soak. Okay. So Dragapult into a fighting type. I don't think you have defense. So I'm just gonna go out here and click dragon darts and hope I, as he switches out in the screen, okay, that's fine. Good read. So I think he is, uh, whatever, you, I think he's scarf. I'm gonna rapid spin here. And heavy slam. As he probably goes out into either Crocolore or Corviknight. Yeah. So let's see what you are physically defensive core tonight. Body press is not doing anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out into Yep. And I'm just gonna hit Shadow Ball here. Expecting the Screamtail to come in. Okay. 60%. Does that tell us anything about that Screamtail? Sixty percent tells us that it is. Mm 
it doesn't tell us too much. It just tell us, told us that he didn't have any spadef. So he can't get rocks up anymore, which is fantastic. He might think that I'm Scarf, which is funny. So we have Crocolore in here. And Shadow Ball to Crocolore is going to be doing about 43%. I'm just going to... Do I, I don't want to get burnt is the issue. I'm just going to Shadow Ball for damage. 42. Slack off. <laughs> and I'm just going to hit Shadow Ball again. I'm gonna dragon dance here and see what he wants to do. Okay. This makes sure that I'm faster than Fluttermane. And now I can just hit Shadow Ball again. And that puts him in close to flamethrower range. So I'm going to have to go for it. And that should be GG. Because now I can dragon darts this. Crocolore is going to go down. Uh, quack. Quibble. And I'm just going to Dragon Darts here for damage. Ice Spinner kills. I'm perfectly fine with that. You did it your job. And I'm just going to go out and <laughs> Rotom Wash and hit Volt Switch. Go out into Alkiji. Crocolores in against Chien Pao. And Sword Stance isn't going to matter because he's unaware. Terastalize so that we can't get hit by the fire move effect super effectively. Okay, so you're just gonna slack off. I'm just gonna keep crunching until either I get a defense drop on him or. Yeah, there we go. That's cool. I'll crunch again as he slack offs here. Yep. And then Rotom Wash. Yeah, Rotom Wash kills. Go out into Rotom. See Slack Offs. Hit Hydro Pump. 75% decent damage. Snarl. Okay, yeah, you're not. You. I wish. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's. 
Oh, that's a roll. I'm going to Hydro Pump. Yep. Rotom picks up the last kill. And Rotom wins again, guys. GG to my boy Sean. We finally outdid him. I think that crit on the Arbalava definitely mattered. Whether it mattered to the full game plan, I don't know. But yeah, that's going to be game, guys. Thanks for coming out. Catch us next week for our week four matchup. Hopefully we're back on Switch because I really did enjoy uh, recording that. And we'll see you guys.